Um, definitely the use of technology deal. Um, you know, having your baseline before, um, your baseline is, is very critical. Um, if we knew what the building, the building footprints were for Belize City, um, it would have assisted us, um, you know, a, in a larger um, capacity in terms of um, being able to say X amount of houses we believe, you know, were damaged as opposed to waiting for the assessments to be completed. Um, additional to that, I've seen technology in other countries where they fly their drones and the drones can, you know, pick up the damaged houses and it will just say that they are damaged. It would not say, you know, level one, two, three or four. That's more of the human part of it. But I do think that the use of technology and changing with the times uh, definitely can assist us in, in this process. Is it your sense that um, there has to be a greater focus on shaping post-disaster um, effectiveness and policy? And how do we do that? Okay, um, so that's a million dollar question, Dale, <laughs> and it's it's usually not at my level, <laughs> but um, but in my opinion, um, the documents that we do uh, produce, they do have recovery um, efforts. There are recommendations, and um, you know, one of them that we we have been making throughout um, twenty twenty two and before is building to code. You know, uh, some houses don't use hurricane straps. And what we saw from the, the documentation is that a lot of people lost their roofs. So, you know, in terms of, of policy, it can be um, soft policy and it can be uh, hard measures in terms of, you know, maybe we need to put in um, seawalls more around the country to help with reducing the impacts of coastal flooding. Um, you know, soft policy can be, you know, everybody nationally has to have hurricane clips, you know, on their roof so that we reduce the um, the recovery costs in terms of, you know, replacing something as, you know, I want to say as simple, but, you know, like replacing a roof 